Hello friends, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Today's card and video is part of the Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber Limited Edition Collabs. Today's collaboration set is with Picket Fence Studios and it is the Happy Water stamp set. It's available as a stamp set and also as a stamp set with the coordinating wafer die. I will have links to everything in the description box below, below the video. And as with all the Stamp Timber collaboration sets, this is limited edition, while supplies last, all the info will be in my blog post. So to start off with, I have some Bristol Smooth cardstock in my Mini Misty, and I used my anti-static powder tool. And then I have the large cluster of drinks image from this Happy Water set, and I'm stamping it with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And unlike previous videos I've done recently where I have been using a uh, matte, clear matte dull embossing powder so that I don't get the shiny finish. This time I'm going to use clear embossing powder because I did want a shiny finish this time. I thought it kind of went, you know, with the idea of the glasses and you know, they're shiny. So after I stamped it with that Nocturne ink, I heat embossed it with the clear, just regular clear embossing powder. You don't always have to emboss when using VersaFine uh, Claire Nocturne ink. For me, it's just force of habit. Plus, I just like the raised edges because when I'm doing any sort of coloring, watercoloring, etc., um, it keeps everything contained, especially if I'm working in Bristol Smooth because, you know, everything kind of sits on top of it longer. This is a good cardstock as well if you are struggling with ink blending, that sort of thing. This has a lot of like a slip to it so you can blend things because everything kind of sits on top for a little bit longer than because there's like a coating on it. So anywho, I heat embossed it and then I'm working on my waffle flower water media mat here and I smooshed a bunch of my distress, regular distress inks, my little minis into the different wells. And then I'm just using my little Tim Holtz water brush to pick up the color and paint this image. Really simple. I, it, <sighs> When I looked at this image, I was like, there's not going to be a whole lot to color, you know, because they're small. But then as I started painting it, I was like, I can have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> and I was like, I could do even more colors than this. But I was in like this margarita mind set when I was doing this. I wanted like citrus colors and a lot of green. But as I started coloring it, I was like, this is actually a lot of fun. There's all these little details. So I was using uh, Twisted Citron is my main green. And then I had squeezed lemonade, a little bit of carved pumpkin, because I was thinking like orange slices, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, tumble glass for the glass areas, just to give it that little extra something. And then pumice stone for the kind of the shadows on the bottom. And then I used a little bit of like mowed lawn for the mint leaves on there and a bit of crushed olive, because there's olives in some of those glasses. And that was it. Really simple coloring, just fun. And then when it was dry, I flipped the image upside down I, ha I just use a little bit of painter's tape just to kind of hold it in place and a little bit more painter's tape to hold the stencil in place. This is the large snowfall stencil from Simon Says Stamp that I've already used a couple times in videos. I have the stencil upside down as well because I want the layer because the technically the top of the stencil it's you know a cluster of more technically snowflakes but I've done this in the past with other similar stencils. It also looks like bubbles, depending on how you do it. So I thought that'd be fun to kind of add that to this. So I have it here and I use the tape just to kind of contain where all this glitter paste is going to go. This is Gina K's Glitz, um, Glitz Glitter Gel, the iridescent. Uh, FYI, the container you get when you order it is a lot bigger than the one I have. Mine was part of uh, one of Simon's card kits. So it's like a sample size but I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I scraped a bunch of that over top of the stencil. So now I've got all these like glittery kind of bubbles everywhere. And then I'm gonna set that aside. I immediately cleaned off my stencil because anytime when you're working with like a glitter gel, that stuff, if you let it dry in your stencils, good luck getting it off. It's just, it's so much easier to just either toss it in a container of water, depending on your, you know, crafting area. I couldn't do that. I would have that knocked over. So I just take it to my sink. I clean it. I'm good. So I used that stencil and then my card base. I originally was going to do this as a portrait card, like a top folding A2 card base. And then last minute decided to do it landscape so I could show a bit more of the sides. 
because I wanted to use this bubble wrap stencil, which I've used in multiple videos as well this month. And I taped that over the card base and I'm using the Twisted Citron Distress Ink again, my little uh, mini blending foam. And I'm blending it just along the edges because that's all you're gonna see. The center is gonna get covered up by the main image. So I quickly blended that, not quite this quick. I sped this up in editing. But yeah, quickly blended the ink over that just to add that to the card front. And then the sentiments are from this Happy Water set. There's all these like snarky little sentiments that just kind of made me. They did, they, they're just snarky. I love, I love punny and I love snarky. So I picked out a couple sentiments and I'm just stamping them onto some sea glass cardstock with that same Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm gonna heat emboss these with the clear embossing powder as well. Again, it isn't necessary. I just, especially with sentiments, I do like heat embossing them when I use this ink because I'm too impatient to let it dry or I think it's dry and I end up smearing it with my fingers because I'm klutzy. So by heat embossing it, it just means I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I heat emboss the sentiments with that clear embossing ink and then trim them down with my paper trimmer off camera. And then while I had my mini Misty out, I'm going to center this drinks image again onto the inside of the card. So I've got the inside of the card here, centered that, and I'm gonna ink that up with that same Twisted Citron uh, Distress Ink. And I'm gonna stamp this onto the inside of the card, just having to press it down a few times just to make sure I actually get, because like, again, this stamp is very detailed. There's all the little ice cubes and little dots and things like that. So I made sure I got all the areas inked up, stamped on the inside of the card. And then one of those sentiments that I had heat embossed, I'm going to add to the inside in a minute. I'd also cut down some black cardstock to be just slightly wider than the main image. I trimmed down the main image to be a bit shorter than it originally was because I changed the orientation of the card. And then matted that with a little bit of black cardstock. And then the sentiment I'm gonna pop on with a little bit of Simon's Big Mama foam tape, just to give it that little bit of dimension. And I'd purposely trim this to the same width as the white cardstock. And then adhered the second sentiment to the inside of the card. And then now I can adhere the card front. And as always, as always, you can end here. But I'm gonna add more bling because there's never enough. So I pulled out a bunch of my Studio Cadia crystals. I had the Neon Tangerine, the green apple and pineapple delight because of course these colors went perfectly with the colors I used for the drinks so I lightly sprinkled these around the card and then once I was happy with where I had them I'm just going to adhere these into place with dabs of my craft tacky glue using my little embellishment wand to pick these up and then once I've got these adhered into place this card is complete so like I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a limited edition set, only while supplies last. Links to everything, including all the supplies I used, will be in the description box below the video, as well as a link to my blog post if you're interested in checking it out. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I really appreciate it. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.